Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. He doesn't look like militia. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man, name's Wade, Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit, Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've, been I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember, sir. She slapped him in the face. Come on, sir. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Let's check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? God damn it. She's not here either. It's got to be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. A lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! Are you any good? Can you ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? You're going to have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. What the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades and burn the slash. The outpost. We can see a horde coming along before it reaches us. And what? We're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep. You know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground. We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the wards. The only thing that's going to stop them is an army. Our army. It's going to take way more than an army. You have a plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. No, oh, so do I. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks 
person I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? Couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. Yeah, I can always use this. You said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut, and the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Hold up, hold up. Go on, get out of here. Look out! I see him. Doesn't look like it. Um, come on, I want to take a look at that deer carcass. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Yeah, depends. On what? On how hungry it is. Look out! I see him. <laughs> <laughs>
take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. There with you. I gotta say, you're getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. We just gotta keep moving. But look, you gonna join the militia? We must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being a shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell a corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Now we've got to start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. That militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming on without a fight.
you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, oh hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. Handle him? He won't know what hit him. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here.
We're not with them. You think I give a I got damn who you are? Okay. Okay. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you pass. So, oh. you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. <laughs> familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Well, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. All right. You know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. 
Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, oh, oh, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's it? It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to auto progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even choking me to spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, DQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you looking again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone, and I took a picture. You want me to show you? Oh my God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. 
and we will talk about it. But just hold on for a second, because I want to <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay. See, this is why I brought you out here. <gasps> wow, how beautiful! Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're going to ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one. The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like... Dog skull. Dog skull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, uh, it's... Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like, a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. Because, I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right. It's your that? ring. Right. Something more simple. Without fame. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's your ring. It's the lab, I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Sorry, what's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, the photos went away. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie, her father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated them. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? Going on? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. Uh, 
you guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass, too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on. Cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! <laughs> At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face, <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoo. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Oh, Let's goddamn go. redneck asshole. Get off me. <laughs> What about you? Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at a, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question? So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. 
Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly.